Hello, and uh, this is another um, IG, IGCSE tab questions uh, gets sent to me. I'm sure it's an IGCS, IG, IGCSE question. And uh, I've drawn the graph by hand rather than use um, a, a graphing calculator or whatever. So, and I've also made one or two mistakes, uh, which sometimes you do when you're drawing a graph. So, well, we'll have a look at it. Well, as usual with uh, IGCSE questions, they tend to be too wordy and too wieldy. So you, you, must, you must be patient enough to apply your way through. And in part A, there are instructions to be obeyed, and you must obey these instructions for six marks. And then it says, uh, using, using two centimeters to represent what you need on the x-axis, I've done that. And then it says, two centimeters to represent five units on the y-axis, and I've done that as well. And uh, draw a graph between x is equal to minus two and x plus four, and I've done that as well. So that's an easy six marks. For part B, it says, use your graph to solve the equation y is, uh, the equation f of x is equal to zero. In effect, y is equal to zero, which is the x-axis. You need to find where the graph calls the x-axis. So for my graph, I can see it's uh, minus 1.2, 1.6, and then plus 2.6. Okay, moving on to part C. Moving on to uh, part C, and it says to us, uh, if I just paraphrase, it says to us, draw a line such that it's going to cut the, um, the graph in three positions, three different positions. And if you think about it, um, the line y is equal to zero is the x-axis, and we've done that already, and that got, got the graph as shown before. So what it's actually saying to us is to draw a graph, uh, y is equal to something, such that it's going to cut the graph in three positions. And it's got to be, an, k has got to be an integer. And I draw, I draw a line at y is equal to one, and as you can see from my graph, that caused the, uh, the graph in three different, different positions. And I've done another one at y is equal to 2, and the same thing happens. And I made a mistake and drew one at 2.5. Now, 2.5 is not an integer, so that doesn't work, and I cancel that. Now, I've drawn, I've drawn another line at y is equal to 3. That's also valid. And I think you can get another one at y is equal to 4. So you can do either 1, 2, 3, or 4. All three are correct. Okay. Now, 2.5 is wrong. Uh, you know, it does happen in the exam as well. I hope all that makes sense. Okay. So enough. Um, we'll got all that down here. Uh, for part D, it's asking us to find the center of rotation for this graph. Now, what I've done is I've looked at the the, the maximum and the the, the minimum points. The maximum point occurs at 0, 5, and the minimum point occurs at 2, minus 1. So to find the, uh, the, center of the center of rotation, that's going to be halfway between the maximum and the minimum point. So what I've done is I've taken the x values for both, added them together and divided by 2. So 0 plus 2 divided by 2 will give me 1, and for the y coordinate, I've done 5 plus minus 1, which is 4 divided by 2, and that gives me 2. So the center of rotation is 1, 2, and the order of rotation is 2. Now, I've not done E, pass into that yourself and see what you get. My guess is that uh, the, the, the tangent at uh, minus 1, 2 will be about the same as the tangent at about uh, three, three, one, or something, or three, two. Okay. Uh, I hope that's been of some help. Uh, please get in touch and please, please subscribe. Uh, and hopefully, I'll see you again soon. Bye bye now.